Back guys, this is EG Alley at Manchester. I'm Adamski and we are here for the Halo Reach finals between Uprising and Apex Power. Uprising currently 3-2 up in the series and just right now they're working out which game types to play. As we switch over, I'll just show you as Baxter's trying to work out what they're doing. As you can see from left to right, we have Chalky, Baxter, Ramirez and Vard just behind Ramirez with coach Septic. And on the other team, from the furthest away, we have Fusion, then Riots, MVP, and also Blackjack. And in the background, you can't quite see him, but Inspired to Kill is there as a coach. Now we are switching to the first game, which is going to be Countdown TTF. We're starting with Blackjack's point of view. Let's see what he's got going for us. And here we go with game one, and I'm also being joined by the lovely, the wonderful, the incredible ex-Halo player, Josh Loco Nuno, the Guzman. I'm in, lads. How's it going? <laughs> so here we go. What are we playing right now? Number six, Countdown CTF, a game type that you actually you know about. Yeah, actually, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> I just, I like to, when I played Halo, I like to run around and just shoot. I never really listen to my teammates. So we're starting off with Blackjack's POV. Okay, cool. Well, so many screens. I'm not used to this. Yeah, there's a lot of screens going on. It's not quite Call of Duty where you can have one screen. But yeah. In spectator mode. Okay, so obviously uh, Apex are up 3-2 again. Oh, down 3-2 again. No, they're down. Yeah. Uprising. So, uprising up 3-2 and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, welcome, back, welcome back to Halo. Oh, well. Cheers, mate. <laughs> it's good to be back. How's the event been for you? Amazing. Um, tiring, but it's kind of settled down now. Yeah, I feel really tired. Want. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's just looking at screens all day, you know, it, it, it drills the eyes. Yeah. But it's been exciting at the same time, and just been so many games going on. I know everyone's excited as well for the Halo 4 later on. Oh, um, there we go. If you didn't know, we actually are having one of the first competitive games of Halo 4. I've been shown at EGL here. Me and Josh will walk you through that, even though we don't know the maps or the oh, we'll, be fine. we'll be fine. We'll wing it, we'll wing it. <laughs> we'll just about make it through this one, and then we'll be there to walk you through Halo 4 as well. Good return there for Blackjack. So he stays around us too. Screen. Obviously, it's Blackjack well known for his sniping abilities, so I'm not quite sure how he's preparing up to the competition these days. No doubt, though, still a top player. Look at that cheeky double kill. That is a smart double kill. Right? <laughs> it's it's like oh, he almost screwed it up. Let's <laughs> see if he can get the flag on his team. Is. Three down there, four um, uprising. That is their name. It's weird because they beat uh, Apex in the winning bracket final, but they're still the lower seeded team, so they go blue, which confuses. <laughs> Oh, catching Vardos Walker, oh, the anchor do it. He turns around. The anchor will always. Will the anchor prevails. Uh, Obviously, people will know Vard is more affectionately known as the anchor amongst the uh, tail of the but... <laughs> So, still on board with Budget right now, I'm guessing. Yeah, Apex is still 1 0 up in this game. Quite of a slow paced game, but he's team trying to be kind of hidden around and. Decent shot right there by Budget. How's Budget been doing overall on the tournament? I think he's been a standout player to be fair, he's done really well in the Slayers and uh, usually you'd expect maybe Scott as in Fusion to yeah. be pulling out the stats but Beach has been doing it all, I mean last event he had a great uh, time, he was probably one of the standout players, he was on my team and he helped us really yeah. get a good placement and uh, I think he's doing huge wonders and could actually take him to the win in this one. Yes, that's right, he's always getting shots, his awareness seems you know, top top level and obviously he is a top player so it's to be expected. Speaking of top players, I think we're going to switch over to one of the contenders for MVP last event, which was Chalky. Chalky, Chalky now. I don't know much about this guy. Yeah, I, came, I came earlier and I saw, you know, he's so he's so delicate when he's sniping. It's insane. <laughs> he teases it. Yeah, he does. He's he's just, just, you feel like you know he's going to hit the shot. Yeah, Chalky is a player. He's been playing since, um, or attending events since maybe EGL 3 or 4. Okay. Oh, or oh. AM, or oh that's a cheeky <laughs> alley out there. But he hasn't really got the sort of placement until the last event where he actually won the event. And uh, now he's trying to go for the, the repeat. Repeat, eh? He's definitely a strong player though. If you watch him, his aim is just so steady and yeah. he hits a lot of ridiculous snipes. He's known for his probably the best sniper in Europe at the moment. MVP's going absolutely nowhere. They're trying to bounce for him. <laughs> it doesn't get does absolutely nothing. Oh, Stefan. Oh, I see. 
hopefully you guys can hear us better now. We've been uh, warned, but we have too far from the microphone. Uh, apparently we've just been talking and no one's heard anything, so... <laughs> I don't know what we're talking so about. So we are now here with me and Loco, and I am me, me as Adamski. <laughs> I'm Loco, returning to the scenes of Halo. But so one day only. Maybe. 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 <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what Great shot on Chalky that taking though, him down. Chalky. Really exciting player to watch. He seems really efficient. Doesn't Not quite get the kill with the rocket, so curse of the caster there. So talking about efficiency missing the rocket, but doesn't really matter. Gets taken out. Really. Oh, he's dead, he's dead next week. <laughs> If there's anyone we uh, want to lose, then uh, we just call out his name, I guess. <laughs> if there's anyone I want to lose, who actually, on this t on this whole lineup of players, all these eight people, I want Stefan to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Your ex teammate, MVP. But I love I, him to death, but I love to see him lose. I so love seeing him. If I was teaming with Stefan, I kind of want to lose anyway. Or at least do really bad. What would us win? You've teamed with quite a few players in this uh, in this uh, final, anyway. You've teamed with Baxter, MVP, Vard. Yeah, actually, I've quite a few. Um, Different lines completely, obviously, with Baxter and Var did not go so well. Um, but with uh, Stefan, we uh, had quite a good run. Uh, obviously, beating you guys actually back uh, in the post series, but then uh, falling to you guys as well at EGL2. Uh, you, you could have stepped a bit further away from the mic when you said that. I don't think they wanted to hear about you uh, talking about that win. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes, you did win that, but we came back. Uh, listen, mate, we all know you came back, <laughs> as you remind me every day. <laughs> you know, I'm throwing you up, Josh. Do you <laughs> don't worry, we're not that creepy. I, so, hope, I hope we're not. So obviously these guys are still on the stand-up right now. Many of yeah. stand-up do I remember on Countdown. It just shows that these teams are actually really quite close to this side to have these standoffs where yeah. there's one flag on Maybe side. a bit nervous though as well. It is the finals after all. Yeah, no one wants to make a mistake lose that first game because to be fair, if Apex take this game, they tie it up, if Uprising win, then they have two game lead. Yeah, well at the same time though, it's... Being a free two up, obviously, potentially, if you get a fourth map, you know, you have a two in the lead, it's the advantage, it's all great, and yeah, but if you go, if you have the free two advantage and it goes to free three, it can be quite a momentum, you know, it, it can destroy it because yeah. you're, it's level terms again, so all the work you did in that winner bracket final came for nothing. And Not necessarily for nothing, but you know, it gives yeah. the other team a chance to recoup. It looks like Epic Power have control of the rockets, and I think we're going to switch over to the rockets as they're in the hands of MVP. Let's see what MVP he's. A smart player, allegedly, so let's see how smart he is. Most valuable player, apparently. Long range, uh, oh yeah, well, I'm also <laughs> sure he'll actually get that. Um, he likes to wear that tag because he knows he's never going to get it in his own. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, his old uh, tag, you didn't know he used to be flawless as well. Really? Flawless. He, he's, uh, I think he's, he thinks uh, very highly of himself. I think though. he's waiting until maybe one more event when well, and then he might change his name to Jesus. He actually, he's yet to win a major event on Reach, by the way. Obviously, he is a very top player and well known for his smarts. Well, he won the pro Good. series. Oh yeah, of course. We well, didn't kill that guy, so I don't know what happened there. <laughs> and that was the worst rocket you've ever seen. So. <laughs> and I've seen some rockets. I have seen some rockets. That was awful. I'm sure you have. That was full on dog. I, I played with Will Buck. I've seen many rockets. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Will Buck, he was by far the standout worst player of the event. <laughs> standout worst player. Well, uh, I don't want to say that. The least valuable player award. We don't, we don't give that yet at EGL. The LVP. The, the lead weight. <laughs> sought after event. Oh, I'm looking right. I don't know who was shooting right there, but he was missing some shots after shooting guy, and he got turned on in fact. Currently 2-0 to Apex Power. Really good start in this countdown game. Not in terms of maybe the most exciting, but they're doing what they need to do and just edging it out at the moment. Both teams playing definitely playing organised and careful, you know, not giving them too many mistakes. Yeah, there's no big sort of free player rushes down one area. It's all sort of disjointed and they're all just trying to pick each other apart slowly. Yeah. I'll see what he can do right now. MVP goes into the flag, he gets the touch. Ooh. Oh. Shane missed a couple of shots, so that was a bit of crucial time right there. He could have had to turn on the other guy, but never mind. Gonna quickly switch over to Sharky, see what he's going and doing. He's got the enemy flag and a sniper in his hands, and this is what we'd like to see. Sharky Jr. with yeah. a sniper in his hands. It's like uh, it's like seeing a baby with a I can't wait. Cannon. Don't jinx it now. Oh! That was close. Oh, well, you got it counted. Oh! oh. 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 Yeah. Casters, casters, uh, whatever you call it. What, castration? <laughs> no, ca castration, yeah. No, I was talking about Caster's oh, Jinx, but we'll call, Ed, we'll call Caster's Ed, Jinx. Ed just did some huge... Oh! oh, oh I, I, I don't believe what just happened. You didn't see it on your screen, but I think Vard just out the mod about 62 people on no shield. He didn't... Uh, uh, uh. He holds. He's, he's a great hold. He holds so many positions so well, Vard. He's he just doesn't miss, shot. though, is it? He's just... Great shots by Vard. He's one of those guys that you don't always notice him for his smart plays, but he's just... He just shoots people. He just shoots them. He zones in, right? <laughs> he, he just zones in. in. Yeah. He takes them over. I'll see who wins this right now. That's Still flagging the mm. hands of both teams. Nice shots by Shark. He can't quite finish Blackjack, right, but he 
probably go down. I don't even remember all the call outs, so I apologize by the way if I get something wrong. <laughs> I'm sure we'll pushing outside. Maybe a bad idea considering the rockets are coming up. Let's see if anyone can get them. We're gonna look in the screens we can see. Can't see any well, it looks like Blackjack's going for rockets, so I think we'll switch over to him now. One thing I know is actually Oh, <laughs> oh what the hell? Yes. That was a weird laugh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that noise I just made? <laughs> so Blackjack lost the rockets, I don't know who has got them anymore. Unfortunately we actually don't have any game sound here, so we miss anything like a flag. Flag capture. Heaven. We, we haven't got Heaven uh, Miles Ross. Ma heaven Miles Ross? Heaven. Miles Heaven Ross actually. Yeah. Is that him, right? I don't even know. Heaven's, <laughs> heaven's rap is not currently Miles here to heaven make sound Raff effects. Ross. Yeah. So um And it just in case you're wondering the guys who've been uh, talking you through the event so far, Pete Robertson, aka Greece, and uh, Jules, the two dinosaurs of the Halo community, they had to leave, they had trays to catch, they got lives to live. Yeah. Me and Josh don't have lives, we're allowed to be here. I'm working here right now, so this is <laughs> in theory me working. And I uh, lo well, just lost my game, so I'm out of the tournament, I have to watch this one. <laughs> you're so, suffering inside, aren't you? <laughs> so you're working, and I'm just crying. Oh, that's right. Uh, well, I think he's going to take down MVP right here right now. Right. So I guess these guys obviously 2 no advantage still to uh, up Apex. I didn't quite expect a, a quite a low scoring game. I was expecting maybe like a 5-3, 5-4 sort of event. Yeah. With teams like running flags and getting good setups. It seems like no one's playing for the aggressive sort of run of cap and just go for it. It's kind of like, can we scrap one, can we not? Let's see if they make a small mistake. Yeah. Well, to be honest, Countdown it is that kind of map where you can choose whether to be aggressive and also you, obviously you can... Uh, well known notorious for it stands up. A great play right there, obviously who are we watching right there? Back to that Jack. Excellent shots. Many have told me that he's standing up to be a potential MVP of this event, depending on obviously their final performance. Yeah, before this game I would have said um, the MVP candidates would probably be Baxter, Chalky, Blackjack, and maybe MVP, maybe, but probably not because they just don't like him. As we, as we established earlier, <laughs> the LVP, yeah, yeah. should we call him? He, he's just a horrible, egotistical little shit. <laughs> like I, love him, I love him, I love him, I love him. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, he's brilliant. Oh, great shots by Blackjack. Oh, but Blackjack there. Okay. I don't think we've seen any of Baxter this game, have we, so far? No, we haven't, as a matter of fact. Okay, well, we'll switch That's over to Baxter after uh, Blackjack's next death. You're jinxing now, mate. Then again, it'll just do the opposite of what you say, so I don't expect it to die for a long time now. Oh, Rami taking the cheeky uh, route there to try and finish this guy off, and oh, he's right. dead. He's probably a player that... Oh, great shots by Blackjack right there. Obviously, I saw Rami right there doing his typical trying to bait him away, but yeah. in the end, he, Blackjack just managed to clear the top of his head. Well, if you're playing like Blackjack is, you're yeah. just taking people out. I mean, Rami's one of those players who's known for dying a lot by trying a lot of different things and being pushed up. He's got an achievement oh. there. Return to Sunder. Well played. <laughs> oh, uh, Blackjack there contributing to all four kills, killing three and uh, being the assist for the final one. Now Excellent he's play. The Let's see what he can do with his help his teammates right now. He set him up for uh, the spawns, so really now his teammates need to return the favour. Three down for uh, uprising. And they have done. Excellent work by Apex right there. 4-0. This is huge. If they, yeah. they're gonna, if they win this game, which it looks like they're going to, then it's free all in games and it's equal. And not just that, losing 5-0, TEC, you know, it's not, the momentum is certainly not going to be in their no, favour. definitely. They're, they're, they're going to be holding their heads, and I think... I think uh, Especially when you think of Baxter and Vard, they're kind of an emotional team. If they go down, they oh, start yeah. to take it hard. And if yeah. they can pick themselves up and start to get a few down game Rs and stuff, then great. they really go for it. Oh, I great stuff there. there, just about. I don't want to go turn. Stefan oh. sneaking into there. The first thing I've seen Stefan do all game, and also oh, the final flag kill. We just switched over quickly at the end to see Stefan put the flag in. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it. It kind of wasn't, though. Yeah, well, you don't want to see him do well, do you? Just to prove it just <laughs> happened. <laughs> Let's have a look at the stats then, anyway. Okay, so obviously, I think who's had the most carry time right there? I saw 157 for some of the MVP. Can Come you see on, the Stephen, stats? There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Plus seven fusion, plus five rights. Scott back back to his roots over there. I've heard that Scott actually has had a not struggling, but he's not been his usual self uh, recently. It's strange. Like I think he's had a dip. It's when you see a player as strong as Scott, sort of not playing to his full potential, you start to bash on him, but. It's only because he has been so good in past events. Yeah, well, obviously he set the standard for quite a long time. And we're just going to quickly go to a 30 second commercial and we'll be back for the next game.
Should we start, we'll start with this one? Yeah. I'll, t- I'll tell them that as well. Um, we're listening on uh, Uprising. We're back from Seattle. Okay, I think the guys are just working out which game type they're going to be playing next. And we will be starting this game on a listening from Team Uprising. POV will be back to begin with, but we'll see who's going off. And well, once again, it's a, you might recognise the pit. I don't know if we played it in Halo Reach, but definitely Halo 3. Oh, of course, I played it in Halo 3, and actually I've, I've played it in the matchmaking and multi playlist um, on Halo Reach, just to you know, see what it was like. Um, it, it works, I don't know, obviously, you guys, I know you guys obviously think it works and you enjoy it. Um, I've never seen it, or I've never uh, really taken much attention to detail in terms of uh, watching competitive play, but I'm about to see the two top teams in Europe go at it. So here we go, we're going to have a listen here, starting off with Baxter, and see what they can do. Yeah, let's do this. Water, uh, it's fizzy. I'm um, just kidding. It's not fizzy. <laughs> it's soda water. It's goddamn soda water, motherfucker. Soda water. MacGyver. MacGyver. <laughs> Something in my mouth. What am I doing at the start? Just I mean, me and, me and uh, Jack are green on this. On CS. Oh, fuck, I've got to go training pit for it. My tell. nades landed into it. You got sir. You got sir. I can't. Yeah, tower down, tower down. We just got that. We just got one on custom. No one's on that. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. Nice. Two rock, three rockies down in green. Yeah, got custom. Right, yeah, got custom. Right. 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 just one shot there. It's one more shot. Right. Right. One shot. Right. Right. Rockets. I've got to stay alive. I'm watching high. 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 All right, listen, listen. I'm gonna go up to high now. Okay. The tower. We're sniped. Wait. Oh, he's just raped me. He's just raped me. He's on the tower. Nice. Okay, I get it. I get it. Sorry. There's one this time. Caught. He might be going blue. Stay there. Stay. Stay. You have rockets on high. Make sure they don't get into our sword. There. Stay right there. They're literally dead needles. Make sure they don't get into our sword. Yeah. Watch how long for me, son. In sword now. In sword. We're Nice, nice player, sir. Nice I saw it right now, right? Well. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Maybe he's sniping the back He's training with rockets. Cuts with rockets. Fuck. He's training. He's got one left. He has one left. I'm running bridge. I'm on banana. They're cuts. That's one. They're cuts. We'll chill the back round. I needed it. One guy on the flat. Don't let's guys. There's two guys. There's two now. There's two lifted. I'll make that way. In the cut sniping. In the cut sniping. There's one again. They're caught again. They're caught. They're caught still. I'm on bridge, pushing me. I train it, I train it. Watch it on me, watch it on the sword ramp. Watch it on the bridge as well. On the bridge as well. Watch it on the sword ramp. Andy. On the bridge, we're outside. On the bridge, we're outside. I'm on their high. Watch it on the bridge. Get on their second though. I died. I'm in sword. He has one rocket. Watch it on the west. The sword again. Watch it on the west. Rockets are empty. He has a sniper there. Yeah, push the west guy. Look at the bridge. Look at the bridge. They're runways out. They're runways out. They're keeping them alive. Don't push them. Sniping their plat. Sniping their plat. One nice one shot. Two guys there. My bad. Do a train on the bridge. Sniping 15. In sword. I saw nades. I saw nades. I'm still, I'm still left him. Nice, stay right, 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 stay let him get it, nice. He's dead. They're street, they're street, one shot. They're street, weak. They're throwing nades. They're throwing nades. They're throwing nades. Nice. Three dead, go. Three dead, go. The flash one. I need to see the flash. I need to see the flash. I'm going to the I'm on the training. There's one guy behind us, I think. The needle's down. The needle's down. I'm not going to throw you. I'm not going to throw you. Guy on our side's dead. Guy on our side's dead. They're throwing nades. They're green. They're green. They're throwing nades. They're throwing nades. Charge me. He's got me. I'll get him. He's throwing nades. He's throwing nades. He's in our mall. Rockets. And the tower. He's throwing nades. He's throwing nades. He's throwing nades. Scott, run out of it. They're training now, they're training now, two guys. They're under bridge as well, I died. They're training. They're caught yet, they're caught yet. 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 He's been shot. 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 Chill out. Sword, sword, chill out sword. I'm gonna need the pocket as well, Andy. Yeah, I don't think he's there though. He's, he's definitely there. in the sword, I just saw him go there. You might there's second, 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 second MVP. Right, there's one, there's two, there's one, there's two. Wait, there's one, there's two. Oh, look at this. Bullshit. Alright, just chill again. Yeah? Chill, 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 chill. Watch our room, my sword. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're long, Andy, they're long. Is it, is it? I think he's in the sneaky. I think he's in that sneaky. Do I check? Just come with me, yeah. come with me, quickly. No, he's not there, he's not there. Back up, back up. 
That, that need a hole, that need a hole. Oh, there's fucking lightning. rockets in their sword, man. How many are down? One rocket, they've got sure. sniping yeah, there as well. Okay, we're going low for this, we're gonna go low for this, hang on. Who's gonna get new sword? Has anyone got eyes on their sword? No, no, no. He's sitting in the little hole, he's sitting in the little fucking hole. Should I get a sword? No, there's a sword, I'm just gonna poke out for him, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna watch him, I'm gonna get eyes on this sword guy, he was in there. New sniper, guys. What time's Gustav? Yeah, new sniper. What time's the rest? Someone needs to watch, someone needs to watch one way, someone needs to watch... Oh, he's, he's in his fucking sword, he was looking at me, he was looking at me, he just poked straight out, man. You need to try and blame him and then... <laughs> green as well, green as well, no one's watching anything yeah. right here, man. Not bad, I'm I'm on the bridge now. I got sniped from our blue and I got sniped from green. Oh, is the OS? Oh, they're long, they're long, they're long. Wait, 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 there's blue one shot MVP. There's one Ed, well done. There's two, there's two. I can't see MVP. There's two, three shots down. One shot there, there's two, and also there's one. I'll turn around, I'll turn around. I'm green, I'm green. On the bridge, I'm shot on the bridge, Ned. They're green, two shots. Thomas there, Thomas there. They're green at two shots. I'm pushing runway, I'm pushing runway. They're training pit, right. I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. They're training pit, one green, watch green, watch green, watch green, watch green, watch green. So you guys are getting MVP suit, I'm back. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Are you watching Jack? Just watch that too. Do that hype, Andy. Andy, Andy there's two right now. Yeah, back, Jack. Jack, Jack, you need to watch green if you can. I can't, I'm helping One Andy. One shot there, snipe caught. Three shots down there, snipe caught. Beach, he's down the pillar. Nice. If someone can come watch high, yeah, can you get eyes on the pillar? He jumped out, he jumped out. He went to snipe box. Yeah, come on. Stay on the rockets. I'm going to flank long. Bridge, MVP, two shots of training. Jesus, that's what I'm saying, though. MVP's dead. I don't want him on the high, I'm on the high. Andy, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. No, 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 we've got a trade, we've got a trade. The hard bit, wait, 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 Watch out, there's got a training piece, man. Needles, watch out, MVP. Absolutely, needles, MVP. I pushed it. Rockets in turn. I got him, I got him. Think about this one. Who's in green? They're on my fusion. Rockets in turn. They're first jack, they're flag, 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 flag. Rockets are up. Yeah, rockets to snipe, guys. Watch out, there's one. And we're back, guys. The game is really, really close. 27 all, and we see some great plays from both teams. So a few cheeky snipes from Black Chick and Chalky, and also... Baxter getting taken down in Sober, Rockets was a big play. Yeah, a little frustration as well from Chalky. He felt that his teammates weren't covering a lot of angles and he made it clear to them. However, it didn't seem to affect the team's uh, mentality. They focused on, it seems like a very mentally strong team uh, uprising at the minute. But uh, yeah, that, that incident in Seoul as well where uh, Baxter called BS on a, on a site that he clearly missed and then well, I think he lost the Rockets. So, uh, not the greatest player from Baxter. Unfortunately but. <laughs> for him, he was on stream at that moment in time. So, the proof is there. You missed. <laughs> So we're getting to that 30 kill mark right now, which everyone knows, as they say, what they used to say, is where the real game begins. Business end of yeah. the game. Close miss by that, but... Chalky with a beautiful no-scope there. He's got the, uh, the infamous T-squared combination of sniper and rockets. <laughs> I want to see some I want to see some triples and overs. I would like to see... Um, yes. Two rockets and two snipes. <laughs> or one snipe and two. Did that snipe just disappear? Did I just see that? I'm not so sure, They didn't leave their snipe up and then they didn't... Oh. I'm sure they've got it under control. I think they did. <laughs> so obviously uh, it's TEC right now with the advantage. I felt that uh, even though the score has always been quite close, uh, Apex had somewhat, uh, a bit more control of the game. However, it's been turned around now and uh, obviously the pace is slowing down as well. Uh, maybe somewhat to uh, Uprising's advantage. What, would you agree, Adam? Possibly. I think um, one of the things Uprising have been trying to do a lot of, or... Oh, great sniper again by Apart Chalky. from beautiful sniping, is they've flanked a few times into the uh, other team's base and it didn't quite work, so I think they're just going to play a more passive, yeah. possibly standoffish uh, game rather than uh, playing to Apex's uh, strengths. Yeah. If, they, if they start pushing towards Apex, they might start to lose the lead and this isn't it. Oh. I wanted that right back so badly. Oh, I was gagging. I was frothing. <laughs> you were gagging, were you? I was frothing at the slits for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Adam unleashes his uh, <laughs> various fantasies. <laughs> uh, we've just seen, I think it's Ed pick up a sniper. Not, yeah, Ed pick up a sniper. Can remember I'm wrong. It is nice. Chalk. Fortunately, we don't have. Oh, we don't uh, have Ed. Ed's not good enough to have his own camera. So, uh, Chucky has no uh, bullets. Ah. So well, uh, he has no bullets. Interesting so strategy right now we'll, by uh, Chalky. Let's have a look. Who, who looks interesting? I think Blackjack's doing something. Let's switch over to him. Oh, I, I think we've got a backstrap for Blackjack as well. Okay, so we see Blackjack right now. Proceeding around the right hand side. Oh, oh my bad! There he if is. only we had his POV, the anchor, going in hard, taking out the headshot. That was a beautiful shot. It was great. However, Ryze replies with two more kills of his own being taken down by Bard, who's clearly on fire. 
far very much a so player that could change the, 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 everything. I said we looked over and he was actually on fire. <laughs> he was actually, what would you do? Ed was actually on fire a minute. <laughs> 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 what would I do? I'm not quite sure to be honest, mate. I'd, I'd be a bit be very upset. surprised. I like Ed. I do. I do. But he's also, I think he's wearing my Fnatic jersey. That'd be a bit disappointing if he burnt oh, that. That oh. Fnatic swag. <laughs> swag. It's great. It's, it's great. I like the jacket. It's like a, it's like a you know a race it's car. Made of a race ca field, it's like yeah. a race car with a sponsor yeah. on it. So clearly, yeah, Apex are regaining control right now uh, of the other team's spawn, trying to make up for that kill deficit. Like been really aggressive as well, getting onto the enemy sniper tower. His team, he's protection from his team right now, but he's only got a little bit of health. He's done well there. Rami's just about to go into battle with him. He's going to get absolutely dominated. Yeah, yeah we're Rami shouldn't try that. He's not good enough. <laughs> no, he should stay <laughs> in beta, right? Obviously. Oh, <laughs> Forty all on this. This is tense. This could go to that infant like Apex can still having control of the swan. Interesting choice by Blackjack. I don't think he expected him to go to so close. But he did do very well. Now, if you were a betting man, who would you put your money on for this game? I think I'm gonna have to give it oh well, with Chalky on fire like that. It's it would be rude for me not to say T uh, uprising. Yeah. I think we'll switch over to Chalky now. Let's do this. So they return the favour by going straight back into their base. And I'm a bit unaware there, Blackjack not having a clue. They're just now trying to push him. Very aggressive work there. Chalky doing really well to bait the, uh, the players into the side of their spawn. You yeah. see Bobby's uh, service time, Baxter trying to push down long call to help him. Doesn't quite get out with a yeah, back off, definitely. Good play from Baxter. Although Chalky was in the high side trying to bait and get some help from his teammates, it was also... Absolutely, got a little bit more guys, guys, yeah. Baxter had to push back. 44-42, very tense right now, Wait, trying to custom. get control of custom. Oh, oh, huge play there from Riots. Yeah, I would expect the other team to have covered. Obviously, we tried to help each other out. Custom. That could be the game changing moment. Five Let's kills left for both teams. What would you do with the overshield, or the overshield right now? Um, the custom. <laughs> would, you, <laughs> would you strategically proceed around the uh, long would, quarter? I would um, strategically insert myself into the enemy lines. Ah, I see. And uh, eliminate them one by one. Well, we aren't seeing any elimination right now by Riots, who has the old shield. I think he does anyway, so I don't know what he's doing. I think maybe he was just making sure the other team didn't get didn't it. Didn't get it, right? Yeah. That's an ambition. Interesting thing. choice, though. I, I would have always thought Apex would be far more aggressive than that. Yeah, but at least true. compared to, to their history, they obviously they're a bit scared. They've never really been put under this pressure Ooh. over the last event. I don't know what the hell that was, by the way. I just uh, rained <laughs> plasma grenades. That came from the spe that, was that the Red Bull guy? <laughs> 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 he yeah. just turned into a blue mess as he came down. Not red anymore, is he? Okay, so Apex do have a slight advantage in one kill. This is going to go to the full three, four minutes, three minutes, forty seconds. Isn't what it? I think this is going to go to is a chalky and uh, blackjack standoff of snipers. Two of the I'd, I'd, I'd wait for that. I would wait for that. Yeah, two of the most renowned snipers in Europe at the moment going head to head. It's going to be tense, and just think how nervous these guys are. There's a lot of prize money and mainly a lot of pride as well. On of course, well, this is the final Halo Reach event. Um, yeah, yeah. Ever? Yeah, so uh, I think uh, Bax is going for the uh, his repeat. Bax is claiming that there's never been a repeat. Uh, I think that's actually true, isn't it? Because straight ripping, obviously, taking EGL5, uh, preventing Scott and Max from redoing the repeat. Um, Scott and Max won EGL3 and EGL4, so did Ramirez. I don't know what Bax was talking about there. Yeah, I actually, think he means I the same lineup. Uh, I think of course. he means the same lineup. Because um, Cross was replaced by Trojan. For those events. Ah, yeah, hey, EGL4. Trojan was involved there. Yeah, he's anyway. basically trying to clutch at straws for any kind of title they can. <laughs> Currently <laughs> so the lead in Apex Power's favour. So, yeah, there is a, a one kill difference still. Chalky looking around for any heads he can pop. Imagine pop um, he's in the zone so much right now, isn't he? Imagine yeah. how much his heart's beating. <laughs> he's expecting someone to try push, but I don't think he's going to get what he wants. Does that still happen in Call of Duty when you hold your breath with snipers? It's still good. <laughs> well, I don't recall many people holding their breath currently in the current really competitive rules set. Yeah. No, actually, funny that. So, uh, no, actually, I do not recall that. <laughs> I was like asking in Halo, do they still use the assault rifle? Like, oh, is it? Ah. <laughs> is it working well? <laughs> Sounds like a helicopter, that's about it. <laughs> helicopter? <laughs> what kind of helicopter? The assault rifle. A Chinook. Slow one for the game, slow down a lot right now. I'm just dying for that head to pop There's up and shock Less than two minutes remaining, and if Uprising want to win this game, they're going to have to push hard. But I've just seen MVP right there, the Rockets, and bottom left of my screen. He's surely going to be a crucial part of this if his team is going to make the most. Unless, of course, I don't see him moving out anytime soon. Playing defensive might be the smart idea. The only person that seems to be moving very much is actually Chalky. He's just trying to see anything and. Just so close right there. 
Oh, oh. Looks like Stefan is making a little move. Rockets in green. Will he? Will he? Will he? Oh, oh. No, see no, it. Oh. Ambitious rocket right there. Oh, he got him. Oh, no way. Ed, Ed what are you doing? I had a bit of oblivious right there um, <laughs> to a missile that was going there at the bottom. No, that, to me, that was a, the, the most ridiculous rocket ever. That was never going to do anything. Uh, that was more, I think, to Ed's fault than, uh, than Stefan's uh, choice of... Uh, What's that lovely sound? <laughs> 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 yeah, I can imagine it. I see I, something shiny. He's probably, he's probably shooting it, thinking he's got one. No, Stefan has done that. I think we need to go back on ball with Chalky, as he has to make a move. Willie Dare, they've only got 50 seconds and they need this. four kills as opposed. Oh, Stefan pushes around with rockets. You didn't see it on your screen, right but you missed it. Chalky finds a guy in the flag box, but he can't finish right him. right now. Oh, trading kills isn't not what they needed there. there and there it is. I'm not Apex sure what are taking the lead. 4 3 in favour of Apex. This is really where Baxter's uh, reputation for building confidence in his team is certainly going to have to come out in full force. Yeah, they need to dig down and find that experience and do really well. Vard, oh, very tough rocket to the face. He did go plus six there. Ramirez having a tough game going neg eight. And Baxter going neg four. Chalky was used just off plus four. And some good stats across the board, apart from for Blackjack on the Apex side. Chalky right now, you know, I, I kind of see Chalky and Blackjack as, at least for this game, rivals, you know, fighting for that sniper there. Yeah, title of so. best sniper in EU. Uh, uh, Chalky right there stepping up. But Blackjack's team winning, I take the win yeah. over the reputation. And maybe they'll also be rivals in Halo 4. Oh, ah. speaking of Halo 4. Funny that, actually. We're uh, here at EGLA Manchester. We're going to be hosting the first ever uh, live streamed Halo 4 tournament. The game isn't even out yet. It will be co hosted uh, by Adamski and myself, Loco. So please tune in shortly after the uh, Halo Reach Finals to enjoy what's never seen before the on is, Halo 4. Yeah, it's going to be brilliant, so make sure you tune in for that. Quickly going to go to a quick commercial break before we start the next game. It's currently 4-3 to Apex Power. Here we go, it's Zealot CTF, I think. And a quick shout out to Slinky here. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you why, I don't even know myself. And here we go, the game is underway. We are starting on board with Zealot. Blackjack. I'm really right now, I might see some call outs, no, I might well, remember some call outs. Yeah, we're on board with Blackjack, I'm retarded. <laughs> Ramirez getting taken out. I think Rami just needs to step it up, but he's being way too aggressive at points, so he's just giving away stupid deaths. Well, great state oh. by Blackjack. I don't understand what happened there, I think he just clipped the leg of Ard to get that stick. He clicked the arsehole of Ard. He threw that blue <laughs> sticky right in there. I think that one could be one that was still falling on the pit. So even the, oh great oh. sniping by Blackjack. He's re he's returning a, uh, an answer to Chalky. <gasps> and Blackjack's just being... Oh, oh my god! god. Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Oh. And the assist as well. He's taking absolute control right now for his Black team. Blackjack's doing everything. You want him on your team right now. He is absolutely dominating. So reliable with that sniper. And again, hitting that guy right there, marking him. He's going to no Watching doubt everything. He sees the guy running ring one. That's a really good uh, bit of awareness, actually. And he's going to run the flag, you know? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I'll do everything. He's just about to get back. He's got one more shot and he could be there. Oh. Lucky right there for that run. He was flagged there. Yeah, no doubt uh, Uprising. I'm going to get a return before even attempting to carry that flag over. Going to get control of the map. Now, if, if you're watching the stream, are you thinking, Blackjack just did everything? What, what were Riot's Fusion and MVP doing? <laughs> yeah, actually. What's on earth? And normally we'd, as it, we'd try and have an answer to say, actually, they were you know, they were moving around blocking spawns. But, just... doing, but no, I don't know what they were actually doing. Um, <laughs> excellent work to got Blackjack. No flags, uh, though, so. Good shots on there for back, against Baxter. I don't know why he's using the Bobby tag. No, and it's confusing name isn't as well. Bobby. No. Do you, do you used to live with Jack. Do you, have you ever heard him being referred to as Bobby? No, actually, I, I did live with Jack, and uh, not once has he uh, ever been referred to it as Bobby. His second name is Baxter, <laughs> so the, the resemblance is B. Name? Was it a cat name? I, I definitely I do not remember that. I Bobby. I mean, it's like me coming into this game being called Samson or Honey. Oh, because you used to, what, do you used to have a pet called Samson or Honey? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I still got what, a pet called Honey. What were they? Uh, cats. I love cats. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had a cat? <laughs> actually, I have, yeah. But it's depressing stories because they both died. So. Yeah, yeah. Cats do that. <laughs> <laughs> we all do actually, mate. But um, anyway, so no flags yet on the, sc on the uh, scoreboard. Apex seems to be somewhat uh, taking the. They, they seem to be further the on the map, don't they? Yeah. they? Have a bit more control. Rami just trying to push out again. He's always the first person up there. Oh, Ed right there, almost. 
and he's been taken down. Sorry, I was about to say Ed, well known for his DMR skills, but wasn't quite out to Blackjack right then, who got the first shot off. And now we see Apex taking the flag. But there, the a Apex flag has been thrown out of the base. They might go for a turn here. Blackjack's following too. He's looking for the guys running from landing. Ed's that going to try and clip him. Completely unaware. Himself. Great shots. Double kill. Easy enough. That should be a capture. Ooh. Oh. And there we have it, Apex up 4-3 uh, on maps and 1-0 on uh, the Oh, and Chalky gives him the business, he goes, do you know what, I'm not having this hype about you, it's about me today. <laughs> and he gives him the business. Gets taken out though by Fusion, which is a good cleanup. Could Apex run another flag here? Looks like Scott is too busy trying to kill someone. <laughs> and he gets taken down by Vard. The anchor right there, making sure no, no relays are going to pull with flags. Fusion and Vard, also ex-teammates. There seem to be a lot of incestuous relationships in this Halo. Um, a lot of good matches. Incestuous, I didn't know they were family, but... <laughs> Rami right there, crawling in the open. I think he was trying to get into cover. Nice little tee back from Spawn. Yeah, Blackjack's putting on so many shots for his team. He really is doing a serious and amount of work. I haven't actually thought about changing POV yet, but I don't think we need to. He's no, just it's just so really insane. Solid. Don't worry about jinxing, though. No, not quite yet. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, used to, I nearly castrated him, as it were. <laughs> Cats trees. Oh, I, I'm, I'm trying to link I'm everything together. I'm here. leaving. Mate. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm done. All right. So anyway, I think that. we uh, might well have a look on board with Chalk. We've been talking about the rivalry, so we're gonna go on board. So we actually, actually, I think we should have a look at Baxter. We haven't. Do you want to look at Baxter? Yeah, he. I, I've always liked his unorthodox plays. As he goes down. Oh, there we go. That's e an play. Excellent play by Baxter right there. Yeah. But Apex looks like they're moving another flag in here. It could be two 0 Looking. I'm trying to look over the station right now to see how you know these teams are coping with the pressure with the uh, any trash talk or anything. Uh, Uprising seems to be very quiet. No doubt Jack, however, when it starts, uh, the tough gets going, he'll start uh, coming out with their various uh, bits of banter and insults. And yeah. Stefan will... Uh, but it's, it's a shame. You, you can't get pumped up when you're back still, when you're not winning the game and you're not doing anything. At the moment, they're 1-0 down. They seem to be 4 dead quite often and they can't really get into the flow of things. I mean, no. They look, they like to they look a bit momentum. lost. They look a little lost right there. Left nade was Splendous. Splendous? Splendid. I was going to say Tremendous and Splendid, and I sort of mixed <laughs> them into one. Splendous. <laughs> so, back to the right drive, I'm going to trade. Look at that. He chooses He chooses to leave Riots and get that important grenade on two people oh, trying really? to move over to his own side. Very smart play by Bats right there. This is what he's really known for. Plays that you'd question, but all of a sudden they just kind of tend to work out. Flies across, gets the flag grab, and he's starting to run out as Chalky is watching his back. Responsible Chalky for Chalky has free a sniper kill. as well. I think we go and have a look what he's doing. Let's do this. Bats is running on the flag. As soon as he's put this in, we'll switch over to Chalky. And here we go. This is going to be one all. And here, the momentum might start to shift. Chalky's got the sniper and he's just taking another face. He's watching the spawns. We have a game. Ooh, just misses. But they've got control of gold. They've got control of landing, which is forcing Apex to push in different areas. But Ed goes down under the base. Why is he going to do that? Well, I'm not so sure. I'm just doing his thing. Oh. You know Riot's with good shots. Oh, Poor right. shots right by Chalky. And Riot's definitely wasn't going to miss that. He went when we mission through that lift and he did what he was uh, sent to do. Teammate's now spawning back, so he's got control back for his team. Back to trying to sneak around on the uh, on the ledge. I don't know if it's still called ledge anyway, but uh, he's taken down. It's now called the Loco. The Loco? Yeah, it's called, and um, then we have the main ramp called Taco Bell. <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say you're a taco. Ah. Ah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's basically, what he's doing is mugging me off. I'm just sitting <laughs> here like a up. mug. To our American fans, uh, mugging me off kind of means it's not some sort of sexual thing. It's no, it's just, oh yeah, I can imagine why they would think that. Actually, no, it basically means he's taking taking the uh, the Mickey. They probably don't know what that means either. Is it? <laughs> I'm trying, say, uh, I'm trying a, to say it about swearing, but yeah, that, that's probably what it. Yeah, well, that's definitely what it is. I'm cussing him off. That's also no, it's not working. It's our language. We're allowed to do what we want with it. <laughs> I don't know what the score is. Oh, I didn't realize. I didn't. You know what? I didn't realize that Apex right there would just take another flight to go back in the lead. Oh, what? Didn't register. But on, our, on one of our other screens, whilst uh, oh. whilst Chalky was dead, there we saw some crazy stuff going on. Beatdowns not registering everything, but Great play by as Baxter, he comes though. up spawn, the flag is being moved. It's going up that lift. They seem to like that route. Apex power taking it into the lifts. It's quite a fast route to take. I think that was it known as the uh, European run, wasn't it? Bucks used to do it. And when you went to um, your first uh, MLG Reach event, yeah, they started I'd to call it like the European run. I don't even remember, mate. To be honest, as I said, <laughs> <laughs> as I said, I just when I played Halo, I loved it. But I just I did it just because I, I absolutely enjoyed shooting Back things. And 
Oh, it's Chalky flying from the sky there. I just remember when oh, he's doing so much work. Unlucky by Chalky there. He did get taken down. Didn't actually come across with any kills or assisted scenes, but he did put pressure on the other team by putting uh, shots on three players. It's not always about game. It's not always about that little medal of the assist or the kill, you know. Just putting shots on people across the map. It can determine their choices and stop them from being as aggressive. Yeah, there's a lot of things that people don't get credit for when they do certain things in this game, like blocking spawns, pushing certain areas, nading things, and covering their teammates, and also the communi communication that we can't always hear, like we uh, had on the listen in before, because telling people that you're with them, I'm going here, what I'm doing next, is one of the most important things, the communication just makes the big difference between sort of the middle or lower teams and these top guys. Absolutely, you know, it's the call experience, what the reality is, the teams are just far more aware, you know, far more in sync with their teammates. It's not just about playing the most, it's about you know, actually making the effort to learn and sync with your teammates to develop good chemistry. And after that, the skill. But that only comes with practice. Chalky there with a brilliant grenade launcher using the wall to its greatest effect. <laughs> its greatest in. effect. Yeah, sometimes you, you've got to sort of work out how far the nade is going <laughs> to go. The trajectory. The trajectory, yeah. yeah. Sneaky play right there. Good That's job. what I hate about Reach right there sometimes. Oh. Unfortunately, sometimes you, you just... Well, that was two bad things right there. That was clearly an assassination. <laughs> and also, he ended up going into animation, a double whammy right there. He probably would have got both kills. Instead, he was kind of screwed over right there by the, uh, the I'm game. I'm not sure if that was deliberate, but Stefan mm. coming out with an assassination. You see Blackjack flying in there towards the enemy flag. And it's disappeared. There, there he is! Oh, well. <laughs> oh. I, I think Blackjack's coming out on top in this series so far. Yeah, but you know what? Apex are, win uh, Apex are winning as well, so... Even though Chalky got one at plus five earlier, it doesn't matter. They lost. And I think we're going to go on board now with uh, MVP, the player who... One of the most arrogant in Europe, but one of the loveliest guys you'll meet as well. Very nice guy. I'm MVP. lying, he's not lovely at all. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we come up with Stefan, we just talk crap about him. I know, he's just a person. <laughs> he's, 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 lovely, he's lovely to hate. He's good to hate he him. Kinda, he kind of enjoys hating himself sometimes as well, so it just makes it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Some good play there from Stefan as he runs into the flag, gets a grab, a few shots on each player, and this could be another cap as Riots is there, sat on the half pack. It should be an easy 3-1. Uh, and this is yeah, not what I expected so far. Apex Power have just come out all guns blazing. They've really turned it around. Based on the previous series, what do you think is the difference now between uh, the Apex of Winner Bracket Finals and the Apex of the Grand Finals? Um, one thing that people have mentioned, and I'm not sure it's coming to play now, is that Baxter and his teammates aren't quite as good in tournament as they are at Prelands. Okay. Um, at the Preland, they were the most dominant team there when uh, this previous week at Manchester Gamer Base. Um, they were clearly the best team, but um, MVP stated that they're definitely a tournament player. No, they're definitely a freelance players. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan was never going to say anything good about him, no matter how much he got battered or battered him. <laughs> and as you see, just complete sort of control. Just yeah. winning at ring one, though. That's all they seem to be doing. They're winning at ring one, getting in there and Yeah, they're very confident chasing. as well. The team likes to be listening. They'll put shots on one player, and even though there's a high chance they might be able to finish them off, they'll immediately turn to respond to a teammate who might be in need of, of, uh, of help before going back for the other kill. And although so Chalky got a massive double kill, he wasn't able to stop the fourth flag going in. So, by a miracle, um, by a great comeback, which would certainly turn the momentum when I see Apex taking this to 5-3. Will certainly be an upset um, based on the fact that obviously Rising won the previous tournament and uh, also won the winner bracket final. Absolutely, so it speaks for itself. But you never know. Take, uh, oh, anything in it. Listen, this is the up flag. It's close quarter map, like Cloud Nine. You know, it's not it doesn't take too long to score a flag. Great holding right there by uh, I think that was a uh, fusion. And there it is, five one. Really, really great play from Apex, Apex holding control of gold and running the flag ring one very often. You know what, for all we're saying about Stefan, I've seen him on the top with a lot of objective play and he seems to be holding his own as well with a plus six. So he's actually stepping up one. He really wants his first uh, major EGL event win. And then this, this is where opinions probably differ. We see there Blackjack going plus 13. It's obviously the most impressive start, but... Was he the most valuable player on the team there? Maybe Stefan was doing a lot of objective work and moving in different areas. I think one well, one could not have done that without the other, obviously, because Blackjack with so many assists as well. He was just basically making sure that life was far easier for his team, making sure that all the enemy players uh, had a lower shield. And there they are, the Apex team. Very happy. Think about the next game, and they are currently leading the series 4-3. It looks like uh, Max Riots is uh, quite confused as to how he's to turn it around, <laughs> so suddenly he doesn't look that happy <laughs> at all. Stefan's giddy as hell, and Scott is just doing his usual. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, actually. He doesn't like Scott there. What? And we're just going to go to a quick commercial before the next game.
back to there, telling your teammates certain things. We're not quite sure what you're saying, but we are starting a ball with him King. as we begin next as King of the Hill. Another map that you actually have played as well. Uh, no, actually, not in competitive play. We definitely did. I remember we, we played at EGL uh, Pro Series. Uh, King of the Hill Nexus. Oh yeah, we did actually. As yeah. a matter of fact, yeah, that was the the, the, ma the final map. As a matter of fact, um, I remember how do you were there, but it doesn't really matter when you lose. No, actually, no, I don't. I don't remember <laughs> you what remember happened. That but I do remember it being a, quite a whitewash, actually. <laughs> it was, it, I, I kind of wish we hadn't won that easily because we expected the finals, obviously, EGL two to be uh, similar, and it was completely different. So we, you didn't even it was make almost a disadvantage oh, to, to winning okay. a pro series somewhere. Uh, uh, <laughs> you didn't even make the winner bracket final of the easy ECL two. We though, thought we'd you? make it a challenge since we, knew the, <laughs> since we fought the finals of the easy. <laughs> we want to play more games. That's what we want. Yeah, sorry, we want our money's worth. I heard this. Uh, well, this map when we played it, we only played it very briefly, so I couldn't really gauge how good it was. It was uh, it was moved as quickly as put in, but right now it's well these days it seems to be quite a fan favorite or community favorite um, yeah. in the leagues. And I'd say one of the most important things here is holding the spawns. If you're in one base, you want to make sure that they're not spawning around you, and you want to make sure you can predict where they're going to be. So if you're on the red uh, mauler area, which oh. is obviously where the next hill is going to spawn, then you want to hold it and make sure they're not spawning around you and try and get them out the hill and. This top hill is really hard to control, but Blackjack getting a huge amount of time there. Do you think teams kind of trying to t try to prevent the other team from scoring via the top hill, or do you think they treat it as any other hill where they'll just um, like control, I score? I think it changes from uh, team to team. When we actually played in the um, loser back finals against Western World, we beat them on this game type, and I got 50 seconds uncontested in the top hill. Uh, we, it's just we played it really uh, well. Yeah. yeah, we had um, some guys moving around different areas, just saying all the time, "I'm blocking this spawn, I'm doing this," and it really helps out. I just saw that little cheeky grenade right there by uh, I think it was Baxter, Baxter, yeah. Baxter right there. That's such a vintage Baxter nade right there. You've seen me trying. <laughs> I can imagine him grinning as he was doing that. <laughs> so like pleased himself. <laughs> ah, look what I can do. <laughs> just amusing himself. So. Great start by uh, by Uprising. Great response to the uh, two maps losing now. They're now 25-20 uh, in their Crazy King. Obviously, uh, I did say great start because I kind of forgot the fact that it's Crazy King. Um, so it's not that great a start because uh, one second is not <laughs> the, the same. As one second is not as significant as a one kill. But anyway. Beware, the hill is mental. <laughs> they were in lead and now we're not. Castrated. <laughs> But when we say castrated, what was it? Cast Cast the cur Caster's Curse, Caster's yeah. Curse, That's our yeah. version of it. Yeah. This is the first hill on one of the sides, so with Red Hill couldn't really be controlled by FX Power. Getting quite a lot of time here, 20 seconds up, and the classic one sniper on the glass there watching, and well, this is the kill. There we go, Fusion's taking out as well, so that's a good response to it, a good trade. However, uh, uh, sorry, oh, Apex still do have control of the main hill. Chalky pushing back into that base, trying to clear them out. Ooh. Oh, What's gonna happen? Oh, oh brilliant player there watching Stefan every step of the way. Oh, he even gets the double kill. Okay. What a play. See, look at how important that is. Even though oh. he had no shield, he caught this to a car out of his teammate and cleaned up to get a double kill before being taken out. Had he taken out that one guy, he hadn't you know been as aware or not as good as a player, he would have probably waited to re re uh, recharge his shield. So awareness and communication, you know, can mean the difference between everything. And that is a godly spawn that he's just got. He has spawned on the side of the hill, right behind Fusion to finish him up and Maybe that's Apex's problem for not blocking this spawn. But uh, you never, yeah, well, that's probably it. This should be a way either way. If it, if it means they're losing, then at this level, no yeah. At this level of play, you can't expect them to just spawn where you want them to. You've got to really try. Yeah, to all down. Fell down for uprising. Oof. Will we see a, a shift in the momentum on uh, King of a Hill at Nexus? And so far, this whole series, of uprising. Where, where are they? They haven't turned up. No, I'm not really seeing really any any spectacular plays. It's unfortunate that we actually haven't got all the, uh, the PLBs. Um, but Baxter, obviously, from what we see from him, he's, uh, he's up to his usual antics, doing work. Uh, that was great sniper by about Chalky. I Let's see what he can do with his sniper rifle. I think there have been some good individual plays. It's just they're not quite clicking on the team level. Look at those snipes. Oh, wow. Excellent. You missed the headshot, but clicks both of them anyway. Almost more oh, impressive than getting complain. the headshot. Almost complain. more impressive than getting the headshot, in my opinion. <laughs> Such consistent accuracy. Bang. And again... Oh. I thought that, oh, yeah. <laughs> your team controls the hell nearly yeah, made you. That was, that was the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> your team controls the headshot. Oh, so um, someone's been sneaky right there, trying to get under the bridge. I'm not sure who it is. Oh no, Black Jack's, Jack's right crouching top. now and gets yeah. taken out. They need to be watching their spawns though, as uh, Apex seems to be trying to push the top green area. Three, well, two down there for uh, Uprising. New Hill's just spawned in the top green. 
I'll see what he yeah. So he's taking it down to one of the hill. However, he'll make sure to get a Scott behind him. Oh. Unlucky right there. Great map awareness to try and hold the position before taking on the hill. However, Scott will take him out now and regain control of, uh, I will call it Snipe, because I can't remember it, but what was it called? Um, I think people call it Gold or Lobby. Gold so. Lobby, yeah, okay. Yeah, snipe area, doesn't really matter. We can call it whatever you want. Local show? Local show, I'll call it. I'm going to gonna miss that place. <laughs> oh, don't worry, there's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so... <laughs> Yes. Currently the game is still quite close, you know, 30 seconds in it, but I keep seeing four dead for Uprising, they don't seem to gain any kind of flow, they're sort of disjointed in their play. Yeah, it's uh, Apex being very clinical about how they're treating this right now, it's almost like Scott and Max, uh, one of the most powerful, uh, most powerful duels in the whole <laughs> game. They're uh, getting back to their former selves, and uh, obviously with the help of uh, Blackjack and uh, Stefan Rowan and for his intelligence, looks like they may well be taking their uh, championship. As we switch on board to MVP, his team is currently winning this game and this series. He'll be hoping to once again get another victory under his belt. He's not won an event for a while and he'll be gagging to take this one away from Baxter. He even said, the only thing I want to see this event is Baxter not win. That's all he said. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, if anyone hears some really weird noises right there, there's a, a certain uh, player right now just causing havoc around the uh, station. Hi. We have Nick, a, a Nick Exit <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That is one of the Call of Duty players. They don't really understand life. <laughs> <laughs> As Nick turns around in disgust. <laughs> turns around in disgust even. Anyway, back to the game. So it's still only about a 20 second advantage right now for our Apex. What is the 20 second? What What is a significant advantage would you say in King of the Hill? Um, I'd say 20 seconds. 20 I think seconds, it's even yeah. that close. I mean, when it's the teams of this type. Yeah. It just that's what it goes down to. 20. I mean, you can even win by one second, of course, but. I think 20 seconds is a, su a substantial lead, whereas 10, you know, can go past in a few seconds. Sure. As sure. you can see, Uprising now just caught up and taken the lead. Wow. I think sir. we should switch on board I don't to know. Chalky's POV and also are listening with them. I'm not so sure what Apex are doing right there. I think three were actually located on top hill, even though the hill was not spawning there. I don't know if they were trying to take control or they just miscommunicated, but ultimately it resulted in three down. Great name from Chalky, and we're going to switch on board to hear what they're saying. No man, you should push. have pushed into that push. lobby man. Just wait, we need to make a push. push into it. I'm <coughs> green one and green one. In the hill, in the hill. Lobby still, lobby still. Three, shot, three shots down the hill, Beach. Three oh, shots down. I'm pushing top green now. Three shots down the hill, guys, Beach. Three peas there as well. Hit lobby, he's gonna push me. He's gonna push me. He's definitely gonna push me. One shot down the hill, one shot down the hill. I'm gonna push. Lobby, there's lobby, there's lobby, there's lobby. Ten minutes, ten minutes. He's got me. One shot from red, one shot from red. S1, S1, one shot. That's blue hill. S1 to blue hill, one shot. There's two there, two there, two there. 2s1, 3s1, 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 
I'm going to lobby now. Cal's down, top middle. Car one, last guy. Oh, I'll be back down. Yeah. Blue, blue two now, blue two going for blue. He's like an idiot. Max, come to red if you can. Blue glass, two guys pushing lobby, Max. I got one's a lead on it. Coming blue, 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 I can blue, blue, watch you from glass. Get shot, Max. Nice. Blue is in five. Do that now. I got death screen on lobby. Block red, block red spawn. Lobby now, lobby now. Doing lobby doors. Two guys lobby, two guys lobby. We'll have shots. I'm dead, I'm dead. My bad, my bad. Two lobby still. Two sniping, two sniping. Two different players. Lobby one shot, chalky sniping. Red pipe, red more. Go for the rolling guy, go for the more rolling guy. Lobby push, lobby push. Lobby push. Red lobby. Red lobby again. Lobby again. Lobby again. Lobby again. Car one, car one. Car one and lobby. Car one one shot. Last guy lobby. Everyone got lobby. He's sniping. I got eyes on it. Melt this, melt this. I watch it. I'm going for the help pipe. I got sniped, I got sniped. Cheeky. I spawned blue. I'm going to shot on the back, I'm going to shot on the back. Shot from car. Top end, top end, top end, top end. Our cuts, our cuts, weak. And then lobby. Our cuts is weak, Baxter. Watch out on the hill. Cuts is still weak, Chalky. Help me, Chalky. Don't die, don't die. Nice, that'll do. Oh, fuck him, please. I got one, 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 nice. One in the hill, one back. He might be street, he might be street, Stefan. He's at the garden, guard him. Yeah, 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 Need they guys, they oh, I got killed, I got killed. We're still three on three, they shouldn't push yet. What's your response? Coffee there. Four alive, four alive. Coffee dead. 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 I'm watching it, so I just dropped guarding. Top of Andy, one shot, top of Andy, one shot. 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 Top of Andy, one and there we go, guys. Apex Power are your EGL8 champions here in Manchester, taking the finals 4-0 to win the series 6-3. What wow. a response. Uh, I don't think Uprising actually got a map at all uh, in the grand finals. Can you confirm? I, 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 you. I can confirm that is true. As you see the players, with a good bit of sports of shaking hands, Uprising will be disappointed that they didn't win. I can see Baxter already walking away, a bit distressed, but... You know, you've got to hand it to Apex Power, man. Absolutely. I mean, that, that response was incredible. They just they were not the same team as they were in the winning bracket finals or the previous event. Um, commiserations, however, to Uprising. They did win the last event and they put up a formidable performance against uh, current champions and previous reigning champions, Apex. Congratulations then to Apex Blackjack, Apex MVP, Apex Riots and Apex Fusion for the a win in the final uh, Halo Reach Championship at EGL 8 Manchester. Fantastic play by those guys. And we will be seeing them again very shortly as they will be playing Halo 4 on the main stage here at EGLA. I'm looking forward to that. Halo 4 is going to be the first live streamed And you uh, didn't hear tournament. that right, Halo 4. That's right, Halo We've 4 got it. by Free 4 Inches. We've got to say thank you to Microsoft for making it a possibility. You're going to hear more from Adamski and me, Loco, very soon on the main stage of EGL where we, feature, where we will feature Halo 4 featuring Apex versus Uprising once again. And for now, that is it from us. The Halo Reach tournament is over. Apex Power, your winners. Your uprising in second, and Vicious and Delicious third place. Congrats, Adam. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Prize money. Yeah, it's Excellent yeah, work. You prize don't, money. You yeah. don't play as much, you know. You should be happy, so you should be proud. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Cool. And there well. it is. Hope you guys enjoy.